Former President Jacob Zuma says he will assess the conclusions and suggestions of the state capture probe. According to the Jacob Zuma Foundation's spokesperson, Mzonele Mani, Zuma will also be approaching the Judicial Service Commission to report the Chief Justice. Zonda found that the former president enabled the capture of the state via endemic corruption and fraud within the public sector. Joining me now to discuss how the review process is likely to unfold is legal analyst advocate Prince Mafu. Advocate, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, what is the review process moving forward likely to look like uh, at this particular point? Good morning uh, and good morning to all your viewers. Uh, obviously, uh, we were uh, briefed uh, by the Jacob Zuma Foundation uh, on the likely steps that uh, they are going to take, uh, more so including a list of court uh, battles that are looming in respect of the outcomes of the report and also uh, a review of the conduct of uh, the Chief Justice uh, that they said they are going to report him to the Judicial Services uh, Commission. So I think the review in itself, uh, according to what uh, the spokesperson, uh, Mr. Manu, said yesterday, would entail, amongst other things, um, court battles uh, ir arranging from the constitution of the commission itself ranging from um, uh, the conduct of the Chief Justice, ranging from his findings and the procedural irregularities which uh, the former president has been in and out of court uh, ever since this uh, commission uh, started. So it does look like it's going to be busy times uh, ahead. Uh, in so far as this review process is concerned. Mm -hmm. However, what we should not at this stage and what many people must not forget is the fact that uh, the Commission's findings are not binding, unlike those of the public pro protector. It is still upon the prerogative of the President you know, to act on the recommendations that were made by the State Capture Inquiry. So I think the ball rests with the President at the moment to determine and decide uh, how is he going to proceed at this current juncture, given that the report is complete. Mm. I mean, you've mentioned that uh, the former president is, of course, wanting to take on review not only procedural matters as they pertain to the commission itself, um, but also substantive issues. Some of, I'm assuming, the testimonies that came out of individuals that actually appeared before the inquiry. That seems like a mammoth task uh, to, to hand over to our courts to handle. Is any South African court likely to entertain um, the matter itself? Obviously, uh, in terms of uh, procedure, you know, any action whatsoever that is uh, conducted by commissions is subject to judicial review. Um, the courts are equipped to deal with such issues, regardless of the fact that uh, some of the issues are uh, collateral of multiplicity of issues, etc., um, courts he will have to deal because this is a citizen exercising his right uh, to judicial review over a matter that adversely affects uh, his right. So as such, at that juncture, um, the courts will have to deal with it regardless of the fact that there is a lot that needs to be sifted upon. I mean, people would have to get uh, transcripts of what happened at the commission, analyze it in tandem with the report itself. I mean, bring about a case, whether in motion or in criminal proceedings, and then we'll have to present it before the court. It's a mammoth task, I agree with you, but the courts are pretty much equipped to deal with it, because as the principle of law states, he who alleges must prove, so he who feels uh, they've been uh, adversely affected by this process must show cause before the court how and to what extent and where there were irregularities so that they can persuade the courts to rule in their favor. Mm -hmm. And what would a, a, a protracted 
process like the one you've just described for us mean for the report itself? You've already highlighted, and rightfully so, um, that the decision whether or not to act on the recommendations lies with the president. In the event the president does indeed decide to, make, to take on some sort of action, uh, for instance, decides to fire any one of the individuals who are still a member of the executive uh, fingered in the, the report, um, would the court process have any sort of impact on any decisions that the, the president makes really concerning the report at this, at this moment? Well, obviously, uh, it will be upon uh, the individual who um, is adversely affected by the report and or the decision of the president you know, uh, to weigh their options if they feel that uh, the president has also ir uh, acted irrationally, you know, in enforcing the decision or the recommendations by the Zonda Commission. They also have recourse under law to approach the courts, you know, uh, and, and, and have the decision be reviewed and be set aside uh, based on, on the facts that are presented by them. So either way, any individual or any persons that are adversely affected by the outcome of the report and the recommendations there to, including um, the actions of the president upon receipt of this report, if they feel like there are prospects of success in court or they feel like they were adversely affected, definitely they do have the right uh, to approach the courts uh, so that they can at least clear their name uh, and, 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 and seek relief, which they think would speak to uh, what they want. Mm. And so essentially my question is, does a court process that could possibly unfold in any way stay uh, the hands of the president from actually effecting any of the recommendations tabled in the report? Yeah, if there is a possibility that uh, um, uh, if a, a person approaches court and seeks a relief to stay the execution of, 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 of these uh, recommendations whatsoever pending a review process, that is a proper case that the courts would have to examine whether or not uh, it is actually in the interest of justice or whether or not you know, it is something uh, that uh, a person who is the applicant in that case has got a real right to. So there is a chance that the court may grant a stay of execution of any of those recommendations pending a review. But as, as I would say, each case would have to be determined based on its own merits and the prospects of success of the review application itself will be highly propped for one to succeed in a state application. Mm. I want us to talk about um, the former president um, wanting to present the Chief Justice before the Judicial Services Commission. It does seem that he is wanting to reopen or at least to reventilate um, issues that have already at length been dealt with by our legal system, by our courts, in fact. Is that something that the JSC would still consider, would still entertain, an issue that has pretty much been dealt with um, by our courts and concluded? Advocate? Well, I think uh, the powers of the JSC, LA, I think the powers of the JSC would permit uh, any complainant or any other person who so wishes uh, to lay a complaint against uh, um, any member of the JSC uh, to let us have been deliberated. Uh, it to be upon them to outrightly dismiss them from the onset or to entertain a, a plenary action. They would uh, act in, within their own uh, powers and means to discipline a person regardless of the context. However, I'm, I'm, I'm not inclined to think that the JC uh, would have a different finding and a different outcome uh, other than the ones that the courts have already deliberated unto, because even the Chief Justice himself, if he feels the Judicial Services Commission uh, haven't handled his case properly, he still has the right to approach the courts as well, because in any case, um, 
the courts are the final arbiters in any matters uh, that involve uh, citizens and violations and constitutions, etc. So I don't see the JSC uh, moving away from what has been decided whatsoever. But I mean, it's a shot that. Uh, the former president has in trying to establish his case. So I would say he will take a shot, but it's upon the JSC to weigh uh, whether or not there is merit in what he's saying, whether there is a chance that they might deviate from, the, uh, from what the courts have already dealt with. I don't think so. Well, Advocate, thank you so much. We are going to leave that conversation there. That's Advocate Prince Mafu uh, helping us there to unpack the Jacob Zuma Foundation's media briefing yesterday and the former president's decision to take the state capture report on review. Up